What's going on? Yeah. Okay. Jimmy, playing Jonathan Gannon, coach defense with Saul. That saw him up close last year. Uh, I think some of that familiarity will help this year or this game. Yeah, I think that goes both ways. Um, obviously, I have a lot of respect for Coach Gannon and Coach Nick over there. Um, you know, build a good relationship with him, and um, you know, it'll be a challenge for us. I know how he is. I know his enthusiasm and his love for the game, and I know um, the team they have over there. So um, we have to be ready to play, play at a high level. You used to have those conversations with him, like off to the side when you know when the, the twos or the threes are up. What's that conversation? Do you still have those conversations now with Matt Patricia or showing the side stuff like that for it? How those how's that relationship building right there? Yeah, I've um, I've been able to build a, a relationship with uh, Matt Patricia and just the conversations in his role um, early on in the year. Um, being able to see um, his perspective on the game and um, defensive ball, and um, I think it's. It's just allowed me to put more knowledge into my bank. Yeah, I know, I know you guys uh, always have like that next play mentality, but when there's such a uh, insane level of difficulty, um, like in regards to the third and twenty completion to AJ, like are you able to appreciate it in the moment or after the game? And um, when you look back at that play, uh, kind of what stands out about what you were, how you were able to move around and, and you know obviously find him and loft him after. Yeah, um, you know you just you just. Any any time you go out there, regardless of the play, you just want to execute it and execute it at a high level, you know. And you know there, there are going to be unfortunate things that do that does happen in the game. Um, things that you have to respond with the right attitude and mentality. Um, and as long as we're able to do that, um, regardless of the situation, it's a very crucial point in the game. Um, we're able to make a connection there for for a big game and extend that drive. So that was huge. After the game. You know, you were, you were kind of in the locker room talking to Devontae, talking to Kelsey, and obviously without asking what you were talking to them about, is it kind of a thing where, like, it was things like things that you wanted to address during the game that concerned you? I mean, what was kind of going on there? Yeah, very observant of you. Um, those, those are conversations that happen every game. Um, you know, the things that you don't see, um, and sometimes, you know, People don't know what they don't know, um, but in terms of just constant pursuit of of excellence and, and playing to the level we want to play to, that takes it takes all of le all eleven. It takes great communication. It takes um, it takes great leadership, and so um, you know those conversations go on just for the betterment of of us as a team. Um, talking about what we saw, um, and 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 how we can continue to uh, move forward. When you look at this Cardinals defense, is there a aspect of it that you think is either underrated, or pretty much underrated, or because they're at the bottom of a lot of things, but you know, there's still players on that side of the ball. I guh there's something under, uh, like an aspect of their defense you see things. I think I think they're I think they have great players out there. I think they they're led by Buddha, um, and they fly to the ball, um, and, and they're they're very very challenging, um, you know and. We just, we just have to execute. I think I think it always comes down to that, um, regardless of who you're playing. Um, can we go out there and execute, play clean football, um, you know, and be good in our details, fundamentals, and and doing what we need to do. They say I guess a win cures all ills. You know, getting a win in the way you guys did it, showing resiliency. Um, you know, do you feel like this team is kind of. I don't want to say back on track, but maybe getting to the point where you want to be here late in the season. Yeah, I think um, I think that's a constant quest. Um, there's a constant quest in that. I don't think there's a point where we'll arrive anywhere. Um, everybody has the same goal, but it's just a journey of it every day. Coming in here, trying to get be trying to get better. You know, we have standards. We have um, standards that we won't compromise, but. The process of just getting better every day um, remains the same through it all, and so like I said, I, you know, don't compromise. We're not going to compromise the standard at all. Um, we're just going to commit ourselves to excellence and chasing that, and um, remaining in pursuit of that, um, knowing that it's making us better every day. Would you agree that getting a win in that process makes it a little more, I don't know, enjoyable or a little bit more, you know, determined to keep going? I mean. I mean uh, 
we play this game to win, you know. Winning is the only thing that matters. So, of course, of course that does something to you. Um, I'd hope it does. You know, if 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 not, you know, you like my coach says, uh, Stout says, you might want to get your saliva check, you know. Um, but that, that's why that's why we play this game. Um, play this game to win. <clears throat> play this game to learn um, through our experiences um, because those are those are honestly probably more valuable um, than any win or loss. Just the experience um, dealt in that moment, and so we got a lot of experiences that we can call on uh, from this year and that year is far from over. Um, and we, we're just we're just growing. We're just growing. Jalen, I, I don't know if you've talked to AJ, but it seemed, obviously he was upset after the game because he didn't want to speak. Do you have any idea why he was upset after the game? I don't know. I don't want to speak for him. Um, I don't know. You know, I uh, I know he's a competitive person. Um, he demands a lot of the, out of himself. Um, and that goes for, for anyone else in the locker room. Um, you know, it's, like I said, he has a standard for himself, and he's not compromising that. Um, he, he He's demanding that out of, of himself, and um, he wants that out of his teammates as well, you know, and everyone around him. Jalen, as well as, you know, um, Kyler Murray and everything, just to kind of see how he got back from, from the knee injury from last year to playing the way he is this year, I mean, what does that kind of say about him, or what, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see him back on the field. Um, you know, he's a he's a very uh, very unique player and just how he plays, and um, he, he's a very special player. I guess that's more uh, – that's better way, way to say it. He's a very special player. He's always been a special player since high school. Um, and so it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a challenge for us um, having to deal with him. Fifteen games in now, what's it been like having Alex Tanning as your quarterback's coach, and what has he brought to the room and – you know, how's that relationship with you guys all in there? Yeah, he's um, you know, he's he kind of always been around. He's always had a role. Role has changed a little bit this year, um, but he's been good. He's been good, you know. And, and it's been a year of, of learning, um, and, and all of us growing in that room. They say there's always a 24 hour rule to enjoy a win or reflect on a loss. How, how do you enjoy a win within that 24 hour? Um. I got nothing for that one. I don't know. Nothing, yeah, nothing to do. Like I, I, I go, you know, try and try and win the game, and you know, once that's once that's accomplished, you're kind of back to the drawing boards of um, seeing how you can grow um, from the things that you didn't do at a high level, and maybe you did do as well. You know, it's, it's, it's like I said, you know, winning is the only thing that matters. But you know, it's it's, it's so valuable. Um, it's so much value and the experiences that we have in playing the game, every rep, every different look we get. And that's something that I honor um, just in my position, playing my position and um, being who I am for the team because, you know, it's, it's, it's truly about growth. It's truly about learning um, and the lessons and finding those lessons in, in everything that you do. So it's just it's just a journey in that, you know. But yeah, so winning, winning is fun. Winning is fun. Everybody likes that. Do you more. kind of get the sense sometimes that, you know, the perception is you guys don't enjoy winning as much as maybe you should, or how do you feel about that? Yeah, people, um, you know, it's, 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 everyone has their own preconceived no notion on something. Um, and a lot of people are going to tell you how to handle something that they're not, that, that, that they're, they're not in that position. Um, I know I personally, been looked at like that for a long time because there's value in losing and that does something to you. Um, as a competitor, it drives you, pushes you forward. You don't want to feel those feelings you felt when you've came up short in situations. And so um, every competitor is different. Every competitor handles and channels different emotions in different ways. And so how we channel that as a team, as long as we're doing it together, as long as we're on the same page, that's, that's all that matters. And so we just want to continue to grow, um, grow through these experiences, um, the lessons we've had of the last month, and um, channel it in the right way for us as a team so we can be successful and be who we're called to be out there on the field. Last one.